Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this snowy Tuesday afternoon. KMA land residents are digging out all over the place following the first major winter storm of 2024. Snow blowers and snow plows were in order across Shenandoah, which received anywhere from four to seven inches, depending on where you live. Rick Fouch was busy clearing his neighbor's sidewalk. Clearly, Rick didn't think much of the weather and having to scoop out all this snow. How would you describe this snow? Uh, the wet. If he's wet snow. Good snowball weather. Uh, Making a snowman. <laughs> now, are you able to cut through it with the uh, snow removal, the snow being wet? Pretty much, yeah. I got a smaller one and it keeps fogging up, but hers seems to be doing pretty good. That's true. Right. Well, how do you feel about this first winter storm of the year? <laughs> You don't have any clean no. words to say. <laughs> no. Sunshine and 40, 50 degrees would be better. Well, it's been a busy start to the new year for the Iowa State Patrol as motorists deal with the region's first winter storm. Snowfall and high winds arrived as advertised by the National Weather Service, leading to dangerous road conditions this morning. Now, according to the patrol's Facebook page, between 8 Monday morning and 6 a.m. today, Troopers covered 46 crashes across the state, including four personal injuries and assisted 140 motorists. Trooper Ryan DeVault is public resource officer with the patrol's District 3 Council Bluffs office. DeVault tells KME News area highways have been a tough task for motorists. One. Meanwhile, Page County officials ask for the public's patience in the winter storm's wake. The county's secondary roads crews were out in full force this morning, clearing anywhere between 6 to 8 inches from rural passageways, Page County Engineer J.D. King told KMA News the snow's moisture made plowing a challenge. Likewise, Clorinda Street crews were amongst those in KMA land tackling snow removal efforts today. Clorinda Police Chief Keith Brothers says city plows were out shortly after 4 this morning to clear streets following the winter blast. A brother says the amount of snowfall placed by one Skywatch report at 7 inches in the community presented a challenge. He says having schools closed today aided in the snow removal efforts. KMA, KMA News also talked to Shenandoah School Superintendent Dr. Kerry Nelson on our Morning Line program this morning about the decision-making process that goes into canceling school. That interview is online at kmaland.com. More news online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a pleasant rest of your Tuesday. Be careful out there. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.